Hey everybody, it's Firewizard 23. I want to do a little video here because I just got back from seeing Wreck It Ralph with my sister Sarah. And uh, first off, major spoil spoiler alerts on this. Uh, first, a response to my original video where I talked about this. It was called Insomnia, sort of. I did not realize the audio of that was that bad. <laughs> My mic, I think the microphone was just dying at that point, and that's shortly after the time when I actually disposed of it, so this should be a lot better, hopefully. Um, so how do I feel about Wreck-It Ralph? It's really good. <laughs> I, I like what they did to say... Like I said, I was concerned in the previous video... I was concerned. No, that's just me. That's just me doing that. I was concerned that they were just using video game characters as a way to draw people in, which I think was right. They that is kind of what they wanted to do. They wanted to say this is the kind of movie, the story we're telling. We don't want to mask that, and we're going to treat it legitimately. And I think they really did. I love the care they take to the characters in how they move and how they act. They are video game characters true to every aspect of themselves. And it makes fun of video game tropes. It's like, if these characters really were real and they could only react in the way that they are as video game characters, then they would have to act this way. And I love that. I, I can't explain that unless you see it and you're a gamer and you get it and you, under, and you understand. Uh, my sister, who's actually a decade older than me, she wanted to see this movie because she felt it actually talked a lot more to her generation a little bit more because they were there, like, at the golden age of the arcades. And, like, this would actually speak a lot more to her. And she actually felt very, very heartwarmed watching this movie. That actually was very much akin to that ideal. But I was born just around the video game crash of 82, I think it was. 82, 83. And I kind of remember some of that stuff, too. So I was there as well. I'm hesitant to talk about the story, because, and I know I said spoilers, I know I did, but, like, my god, this was good. This was really good. Um, maybe I'm giving it a little bit too much credit. It's, it's not a better than sex, but this is definitely a full price. I absolutely, absolutely adore this film. Because I couldn't predict where this was going. I've never seen a story that followed a villain trying to understand his place in the world. That's basically what this story came down to. Can someone who is basically coined as a bad person get some kind of credibility in his life and feel like he's worth something? And that's what the entire story is. It has... I want to just say go watch it in the video, but like I want to, I want to explain this to some degree. How can I do it without, like, not giving it away? Because I won't talk anything about the villain. It is such a creative way that they got their villain. And certain exposition in this movie is so brilliant. And I, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's up to Pixar level, but they do Pixar-style tricks. You're told things without it being... Um, what do you call it? Um... It's not a, um, oh god, what do you call it? They called it in Toy Story 3 when you, when Woody went to the little girl's house. Like, you weren't supposed to believe that that's who, where he was going to end up. Like, and, like, like, like a false trail. Like, they left you something, but it didn't feel like a false trail. It's like, no, they're just explaining something. And then, like, all of a sudden that false trail hits in the story and you're like, and then, like, all these pieces just fall together. And it's like, it makes so much sense. Like, it, of course that had to be the answer. Um, admittedly, I do see a little bit of a fault. There's, I have, like, one minor little fault with it. But otherwise, it was, it's, like, perfect. Um, well, obviously, you know who Wreck-It Ralph is. Wreck-It Ralph is basically a Donkey Kong-style character who is the arch nemesis of a character named Fix-It, Feel it uh, Felix, Fix-It, not Fix-It, Felix. And he decides that he wants to be the good guy for once. And he says, I'm going to go earn a medal. And throughout events, he actually goes to another game. He manages to get a medal, but then through an event of the game, he is actually thrown out of that game and sucked into another one where he... 
uh, where he lands for the rest of the movie, it's like some kart, go kart racing game with candy and stuff, and he meets another character who uh, joins with him and says, you know, we can get a medal. Actually, she steals his medal. She steals it because she has, she kind of has a similar arc to him where she wants to get some redemption too. Uh, she's a glitch character, and there's a glitch in her, and the other characters don't like her because of that glitch, that she makes the game look bad if she was to participate or play. But she used his medals as basically a coin to enter into this race that they all are going to compete in that happens um, off the arcade hours where they're going to decide which of them are going to be part of the race, and she uses the coin, the medal, to enter. And through the events, uh, wreck Ralph and her, they make a car together, and... There's the, you know, the, like, okay, there's, like, you know, he has to train her. She actually doesn't know how to drive, and he has to, tra he trains her up to, she try to drive, and then he meets a character in that game who, it's, it's kind of the standard low point of the movie. Like, we have to say, okay, well, let's put these doubts in, and he, and the characters actually retrieve the medal that she used. Uh, there's a little bit of trail there. It retrieves the medal that, he, that she had used to enter the game, the one he took, and says, you know, I'll give you the medal back. And he explains the problem that a, a big fear of all these video game characters is that their game is deemed as unoperatable. That it's it's broken in some way. And in fact, when Ralph left Fix-It Felix Jr., which is the game he's part of, they believe the game's broken because all of a sudden he's not there to wreck the building like he's supposed to every day. For 30 some odd years at this point. And they mark it as broken. And what the all the characters are afraid of any game is that happening because then they might they might be taken out of the arcade forever and their purpose is to be in the arcade that's how they have an existence that's how they have a life and which I, I kind of wanted to kind of ripping off the Toy Story here which it's some of the same people but it, it it's a very Toy Story esque how they kind of do it but the the main humans don't actually see them so it's it's a little bit different and. In this candy racing game, this character who's kind of like the leader, he explains, you know, if she participates, okay, let's say she becomes a racer, fine. If she actually participates in the race, people are going to see her glitch, they're going to think the game is broken, the game gets marked as unusable, it gets taken out, and we're dead. And the worst part of it is, the worst part, because she's a glitch, she can't leave the game. She will die along with the game being unplugged. Like, oh, snap. And Ralph does an emotional turn in the story where he says, no, you can't do this. And he leaves He leaves her. He leaves her. That's actually kind of an emotional, very well done emotional moment where he's like, you know, how the hell do you come back from this? I did not see it telegraphed how he was going to come back from this. I, which, which I give the movie a lot of credit for. It's like, how can he make a decision here? I mean, he pretty much got rid of all, um, um, any kind of, um, uh, what do you call it? The things. Uh, talisman. He pretty much got rid of any story talisman that would have kept him there. I, actually, I think he might have kept something he gave her. But I, that wasn't the thing that made him go back. He was kind of like... He did it basically to save her. That he developed a relationship with her at that point. And he didn't want He didn't want to hurt her. So it's like, it doesn't matter that he cares about that. And I loved how, how they got him back in the game was so brilliant. I loved it. It made total sense. Like, he, he sees something. He does go back to his game, he, he actually has the medal, and like the characters who he was dealing with, he's like, fine, you got a medal, whatever. And then he sees something in the arcade. I, I won't spoil it, but it's such a great way to do it, because you didn't see it coming. And then he's, he's back, and that's... It's where almost the mystery of the, the story begins. Like, there's something... Something is amiss here. Like, why would they care like that? Why... Because the guy seems generally concerned about this, the glitch character being coming a part of this. Like, you know, she can't do this. Like, you know, it's going to happen. So, and it makes perfect sense. It doesn't feel... It's not like he's saying, you know, you'll leave or, or we'll kill you and her or we'll kill her. Like, no, that's not the problem. They're expressing it on a much bigger level. And I think it may... It... Oh, this movie was so brilliant about it. It wasn't a tell. And I loved it. Um... What else? And so they get to, you know, the final... She does end up participating in the race, and they're on the final showdown, and then you get another reveal. And during this whole time, uh, Fix It Felix has also been looking for him, traveling through the game, along with another character in the game where he got the medal, Volume Ooh. There are some hilarious moments, those two characters. They absolutely... They nailed how those two characters would interact. It's so perfect. 
Um, but yeah, they're in the big race, and then we get the villain reveal, and it's such... Everything clicks. It's so perfect. Like, of course he'd want to do that. Like, it, it's about something so much bigger, and it, it's... It, it felt so right, and again, maybe I'm giving the movie way more credit than it deserves, but it was so perfect sitting there in the seat, like, ugh, like just, I was literally shocked, like, I couldn't believe it, but it made so much sense when you put it all together. And then there's even a final, final reveal after, after we finish with the bad guy, and we're, we're cleaning up the mess, and we do, um, it ultimately comes down to that she has to finish the race to become unglitched, is what it comes down to. And then there's even a final reveal of her character. And it, it it just, it ties it up in a knot. It's like, that's why this all happened. That's why this happened. That's why this happened. It all works. And, you know, Ralph, you know, they end up staying in their respective games. Ralph, you know, feels better about himself at the end. We see kind of a resolution of him and the other characters. It's so perfect. Please go watch it. Wreck it, Ralph. It is worth it. I hope you've enjoyed this. Bye-bye.